Mike, both of these teams featuring incredible freshmen. For North Carolina, guard Michael Jordan has been fantastic. Averaging about 13 points per game, shooting well over 50% from the field. Jordan is a big game player. And for the Hoyas, Clark, the seven-foot freshman, Pat Ewing, leads the way. And you know what, Kevin, defensively, I don't know if I've seen anybody better than Ewing. Controls the paint, protects the rim, and you can be assured that Pat Ewing is going to make it tough for Carolina to score the ball inside. And, and even as a freshman, he will have an impact on this game. Yeah, I agree. In the Hoyas backcourt, Sleepy Floyd and Roy Duncan with John Nash and Harold McRae at the forwards. And star Pat Ewing is the fox. For UNC, it's Adam Barnett and Michael Jordan at the guard spot. At forward, Craig Bacon and All-American James Worthy. And Sam Perkins is the center. These schools' talented freshmen, they will have a lot to say about who wins tonight. A putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. At seven feet tall, Ewing can make short work of these plays. Grabs the ball and sends it back. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan, what a leaper. Really impressive, smart basketball from a freshman. Jordan showing you good discretion with his shot. That's Jim McCray. And here's Ewing, covered by Perkins. A jump hook. No good from Ewing. Clark Ewing and Jordan. Incredible freshman talents in different ways. Yeah, you know, Kevin, Ewing's MO is to dominate the inside defensively. Rebounding and blocking shots, rim protecting, scoring near the hoop. Jordan is looking to get his by shooting and slashing. Play lockdown perimeter D. Boy, it's a joy to watch both of these guys play, and I can't wait to see them get after it. I can't wait either. They get it back. Ewing, good. I'm not sure you can defend Ewing much better, but he's simply too good. Clark and Mike, as we know, two big rule differences between the college and NBA game. No three-point line in NCAA basketball. And Clark, no shot clock as well. Yeah, I think those rules, Kevin, favor teams that focus on the inside play. Guys like Pat Ewing. It also rewards those teams that are patient. Teams like UNC who are prone to play a delay game at times. Nice pass. Floyd with an excellent feel for the game. Difficult to match up with defensively. Unloads from 13. And Michael Jordan is in the double figure. The freshman wants the spotlight. You can tell. And here are the Hoyas now. Trailing by two. And a dream deferred. The Tar Heels back once again in this championship game. For more, let's go to our championship sideline reporter, David Alden. Thanks very much. When you think about North Carolina, they are seeking their first national title in 25 years. They've been so close so many times. Four times they were national runners up, including last year. Sam Perkins and James Worthy are back from that team. They each said they learned a lot from last year.
Fisherman in the tournament. Kevin? Thank you, DA. And for the Tar Heels, Mike, tonight, the X Factor might be a freshman. This Michael Jordan kid is special. He lives for these big moments. He told me he wished he could have played last year. Might have been a different result. The stage doesn't seem too big for him, does it? Never. Well, this UNC team, they're known for their delay game. Without a shot clock, they'll hold the ball late, which in turn will shorten the games. And you know, Mike, that style's worked extremely well for them this season. North Carolina has won 15 straight games and overall 31 and 2. And it's Cream with the jam. Neither of these teams can miss. At the same time, there's not a bunch of defense being played either. And there it is for him. Plays with so much ferocity, erasing that size mismatch clear. He won't be bullied in there regardless of the height disadvantage. You know, before this weekend, none of these guys have played in a dome. It's hard to shoot in these places, Clark. Yeah, you know, I think sometimes, Mike, that's a tad overrated, but there is something to the fact that your depth perception is a little bit off. You can't really simulate what it's like in a dome. So I think you look for these teams to really attack and not settle for jump shot. What a move that time. Crossed up the whole building on that play. Here's Foy. Barnett covering. Foy passes to Ewing. Over Perkins. Green breaking loose. Perkins pulls it in. You know, on that shot, I'd like to see him go straight up with it. Here's Jordan. It's hauled in by the Hoyas. Nash outside. Unloads from nine. And it's off the back rim. No good. Couldn't convert the bunny. That one was right there for him. Here's Jordan from NBA three-point range. Michael Jordan. A great shot selection by North Carolina. This is a team that was over 60% during the regular season. The conference freshman of the year. Guard Michael Jordan appears headed to Sarda. They can't stop Ewing around the bucket. Inside, Ewing has the advantage against the Tar Heels. He's got height, reach. Hard to cut him off. Worthy. And he banks in the lane. Worthy's got the lead up to four now for the Tar Heel. This is why he's a focal point of their offense, because they trust in his ability to shoulder them when needed. Ewing can't hit. And young Michael Jordan, born in Brooklyn. Clark, he grew up in Wilmington, North Carolina. And kept this well chronicled, but Jordan didn't make his varsity basketball team until he was a junior. It's an indication of how everybody's journey to development is different. Michael used that slight, though, as fuel becoming a high school All-American. Michael Jordan, one to keep tabs on as his career progresses. Tar Heels leading by six. They're looking really strong offensively, Mike. Terrific momentum. Let's see if they can keep it up. That'll be the key. Playing in his final game at Georgetown, senior guard Eric Sleepy Floyd with just about 2,300 career points. Floyd is the all-time leader in Hoyas basketball history. And Clark, the man they call Sleepy. Floyd is to the great. And some kind of excitement for the Hoyas. Love the way he plays with such flair and enthusiasm and energy. He's the focal point of the Georgetown attack. And I really expect Sleepy Floyd to be a first-round draft pick in the upcoming NBA draft. He is a dynamo for sure. Yeah. Duncan, he's checked in for the Hoyas. Weber comes in for Floyd. The Hoyas trail by eight. Mike, when we take a look out on the court, so much town out there right in front of us on the floor. Kevin, there are at least five bona fide NBA players in this game. Ewing, Jordan, Perkins, Floyd, Worthy. A star-studded championship game. Establishing that dominant force inside early. Ewing's a handful for UNC. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And so Jordan will bring it up for North Carolina. Coach, freshmen are going to have a big say who wins tonight.
<laughs> we were just talking about that. Carolina's Michael Jordan, Georgetown's Pat Ewing. Fairly even thus far. It's rare in a title game to focus so much on the freshman, but Jordan and Ewing are special. Very special. The offensive rebound on the basket Pat by Ewing. Ewing. Pat Ewing carrying the load for the Hoyas, stepping up on the biggest stage. Here's Jordan. It's held in by the Hoyas. Georgetown center Pat Ewing, the seven foot freshman sensation, was born in Jamaica. Played lots of soccer and cricket as a youngster. His family moved to Boston for high school, and the rest is history. Puts it up from 12, and Jordan has gotten to 16, passing his season average. In this huge game, Michael Jordan is stepping into the spotlight. And the Hoyas call time here. Michael Jordan really making a difference here. Good time for a huddle. Gives them a chance to strategize and figure out how to stop giving him shots. Davis is checked in for the Hornets. Now here's Nash. He's covered closely. Here's Duncan. Jordan with the rebound. And naturally, Coach, when the Ewings moved to Boston, that picked up the game of basketball. Boy, did he ever. <laughs> Becoming one of the most sought-after recruits ever. That visited a few schools, including North Carolina. But Ewing picked Georgetown. Yeah, I think you like big John Thompson, didn't you? Mike, we're still in the first half, but Jordan's been fantastic so far. Jordan is not just scoring. But he's also been efficient, not wasting his chances. Outside Davis. With the putback. And Crane is right there. Great hustle right there. Uh, Clark staying active on the offensive glass. Doing work, of course. Those effort plays are how you win. Sam Perkins, he's checked in for the Tar Heel. Bacon comes in for Adams. Well, Gastonia, North Carolina, a small town of less than 50,000 people. Features two stars in tonight's title game. David Aldridge has more. Hey, Kevin, thanks very much. Now, James Worthy of North Carolina and Sleepy Floyd of Georgetown both hail from Gastonia. While they grew up going to church together, they went to rival high schools. Despite James being highly recruited and Floyd going under the radar, it was Sleepy's Hunter Hess High that got the better of James's Ashbrook in the 1977 state title game. David, that is a great story and very interesting. Thank you very much. Hey, Mike, they say Gastonia, North Carolina, pretty much shut down tonight, all glued to the game. You are correct. <laughs> Everyone in that town is watching this game. Worthy with a chance to avenge the state title loss with a national title win. Wouldn't that be something? Pass to Weber. Trying to find Green. He's got it now. Out to Duncan. Poked away. Weber dishes to Duncan. No luck. They battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Our heels leading by 10. Here's Jordan. How big has Jordan been for North Carolina? Up to the 20-point mark. Ready for the moment. Now the Warriors with it. in the post uses the glass to finish the way and once more this half they find a way to get great position inside here's Caldwell and it's good assisting on the play was Jordan assisted Jordan's got three assists in the game here's green and the defense really pressing up on him. they've had a tough shot and so it's the North Carolina Tar Heel up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. We come back right after this. The streets of New Orleans, a city with so much history. With Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Coming to you live from New Orleans, North Carolina, and Georgetown. Tonight, we'll crown a champion.
Utah. Our heels leading by 12. During this year's NCAA tournament, North Carolina is shooting over 75% in second halves. Some tremendous post-halftime play. Taking a look at the Hoyas, Boyd out there with Duncan. Then it's Nash. Then it's Ewing, and it's McCray in at the power forward. If you want to win an NCAA title, you need plays like that from Jordan. Different on the defensive end. You see why they lean on him night in and night out. In the tournament, Clark, the Tar Heels over 75% after the break. How have they shot it so well? There are a number of factors, Kevin, but I think one of the primary ones is patience. UNC has that stall game, if you will. They're looking for the best shot, and they wait for the right shot. The experience of James Worthy, I think, helps them with that as well. Helps them a lot. North Carolina freshman Michael Jordan. Fantastic, Mike, so far. Shooting well. Looking very comfortable shooting in a dome. Jordan will be key down the stretch. That's good, and the Tar Heels lead is cut down to 10 on the bucket from McCray. Tries from 16. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 24. A comfortable shot for Jordan. The mid-ranger, a tough one to defend. Nash outside. The pass to four. In his last game for the Hoyas, Sleepy Floyd is hoping to lead his school to a title. And with how effective he's been offensively, you'd like to see him be more aggressive. He needs to keep shooting if they want to cut into this lead. And another great look at the 2K drive. That's the kind of play that can start a run. He knows a little momentum can get them back even. Born in Washington, D.C., John Thompson is the perfect head coach for Georgetown. Big John was a great player back in his day. Backed up Bill Russell for two years with the Boston Celtics. Here's Floyd. The rebound by Worthy. Tar Heels leading by 12. Here's Bacon. It doesn't go for him. Again and again, Ewing owning the glass. A major factor tonight. Nash outside. Inside. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. That's what this team needs right now. You're right, cutting the deficit with the one-handed flush. Maybe that can give them a little spark. Here's Jordan, count it from 12. 26 points for him. Big John Thompson patrolling the sidelines, Clark for the Hoyas. What makes him such a great coach? Well, the players love, but they also respect him greatly. You marvel at what he's done at Georgetown. He's really built that program into a perennial power. Prior to his arrival in 1972, it was a perennial losing program. He's got the Hoyas right on the precipice of a championship tonight. He does indeed. I'm not so sure he needed it, but the fadeaway does make the shot even sweeter. Mike, for each school, a chance to make some history tonight. Georgetown looking for their first national title. UNC, they haven't won it all in 25 years. Nash outside. Tries from the block. It's hauled in by the Tar Heel. The much talked about matchup of freshmen. Jordan and Ewan. Mike, it's been very close. Well, the two don't directly face off. They set the tone for their teams. We never say that about first-year players. Never. Tries again. The shot by Floyd. No good. Tar Heels leading by 12. Wilkins kicks to Jordan. Takes the 13-footer, and yes, it's good. Jordan's got 28. Nice dribble move by Jordan. He handles the ball like a point guard. Here's Floyd. Barnett covering. Perkins against Ewing. That one a little long. In last year's title game in Philadelphia, North Carolina dropped it to Isaiah Thomas in Indiana, 63-50. A bitter pill for sure for these Tar Heels. The seven-footer Patrick Ewing in the mind of the Tar Heel shooters. Got a hand on it. That's good, and the Tar Heels lead is cut down to 12 on the bucket from Floyd. Here's Barnett. 
He has six. Worthy. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Offensive boards in this game are huge. Worthy with a nice putback that time. Here's Floyd. Shoot from 12. Kept alive. Not going to go that time. Tar Heels leading by 14. Here's Jordan. And it falls over the rim and in. Jordan's got 10 points here in the second half. And North Carolina Mike dropping last year's NCAA championship game. It's a huge motivating factor for their returners. Guys like James Worthy, Sam Perkins. They said that loss fueled them during off-season workouts. Yeah, those are terrific college basketball players. Well, one Tar Heel is stepping up Mike in the national title game, freshman Michael Jordan. We expected that from Michael. He's a big game player. And boy, Jordan's been huge tonight. Just gigantic. Tries from seven. And Patrick Ewing with the slam. I'll tell you what, that one felt like more than two points. Ewing shaking the floor, firing up his Hoya teammates. Count it good. Jordan's got 34 points. No question, Jordan has found an offensive flow here. Not easily done as a freshman in a championship game. Floyd passes to Ewing. Over Perkins. Here's McCray. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. And Worthy has got it here for North Carolina. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. You can tell Jordan knows he has to outwork other guys inside. He doesn't expect it to be easy. Georgetown trying to get their first national title. This is a program that missed the NCAAs for 32 straight years. Just their second ever appearance in the Final Four. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way this entire tournament. North Carolina has been outstanding executing in the second half. Jordan gets the hoop and one more coming up. And the Hoyas making a change here. Green's checked in. And it's the Hoyas with the ball. Here's Floyd. And again, Georgetown no good. And unlike North Carolina, Georgetown was not considered a blue blood in college hoops. No, I tell you what, that changed though, Kevin, when John Thompson got hired 11 years ago. It did. Yeah, Georgetown was considered a small hoop school. Now, they are a premier program. A title would cement them amongst the nation's best. Their recruiting has been terrific. Pass to Green. Looking for Ewing, he gets it there. Shoots over Worthy. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Our heels leading by 23. Jordan with the ball. Patrick Ewing covering. Once again, UNC shooting the lights out in the second half. It's obvious he's looking to continue to attack on offense so this lead can expand. And if you were hitting like he is in this one, you would be too. His efficiency has done a lot for them. Nash outside. On the wing, Ewing. And that's going to be a trap. And the Hoyas will go for a different look here. McCray's checked in for Ewing. Davis comes in for Nash. Bailey, he's checked in for Duncan. And it's Weber in for Floyd. Jordan. Jordan looking it over. The 17-footer. He gets it in there. Jordan's got 43 points. They've gotten out to a big lead because of superior play on both ends. No better way to do it. It's much easier to win games when you own both sides of the floor. And Green gets it to go. And you can count that one as a screen assist. The pit allows him to get free and go right to the rim. Jordan is doubled. Thomas passes to McLaughlin. Goes up again. And Thomas with the nice bucket inside. Winning play there. Saw the opportunity to take a second crack at it. Weber kicks to McCray. Here's Bailey. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Left side, Adams. Shoots over Weber. Again, North Carolina. Not close to 
the victory. They're running through the tape. Run through that finish line. That's how you do it. Keep it going through the checkered flag. Adams brings the double team. Here's McCray. It's rebounded by McLaughlin. Jordan against Davis. It's good. Jordan's got 45 points. You know, a lot of players were saying it's hard shooting in a dome. Maybe not the case for Jordan, though. Weber kicks to Green. Passes to Bailey. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. Easy call for the refs. Perkins is checked in for North Carolina. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Outside Jordan. Offensive rebound. Perkins on top. Second shot opportunity. He goes up again, and Jordan with the layup. Jordan's got 47 points. Great anticipation. Jordan with a huge board for the Tar Heels. Adams against Weber. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. Here's Bailey. And the North Carolina Tar Heels are national champion. What a season. 32 and 2. Now a national title to make it complete. James Worthy, Michael Jordan, Sam Perkins. It was a blend of youth and experience for UNC. And for the Hoyas Clark, a bitter defeat. But they'll be back. Kevin, as long as they have Pat Ewing, I think Georgetown makes another title run next year. I agree.